All right, here we go, y'all. I ain't been on camera in a while. Probably about three months, I guess. Got a few things done since then. Changed over to five lug. Had the rear end all redone. Went with the 373 slip posi Eaton motive gears. 30 spline axles. Changed over the front. Pretty easy set up there. Getting the wood put in. Then the two sides first. Went the Marque Red Oak. Had to drill. Had to pre-drill everything all the way around. Did that before I stained and cleared it. Got all that set up. I run my bolts through the rails here all the way around. Kind of hidden. I didn't want them going through the wood. Shaved out the back of the wood so it'll fit over that bolt right there. Turned my pipes down in the back because where they were set up, they was coming right here where the fuel tank was coming in. So I just put a turn down on there for now until I figure out what I want to do. May leave it like that, I don't know. There's the wood there. Light coat of stain. Satin finish. Got the hole already drilled out. Of course I drilled everything out, then I done the stain and then clear. There's my fuel tank. Guy done a real good job for me right there. Done drilled everything out on these side rails here. So yeah. Go ahead and get started on this wood. Here we go. All right, here's what I did for the fuel tank. I done a test fit first, drilled my holes to the bottom of the frame, then built me up a piece of one inch, inch and a quarter piece of plate right there and welded the nuts on top, then welded all that in. So it'd just be an easy bolt in from the bottom. So I'll get that in, in there after I get all this wood bolted up. Here we go. All right, got all the wood put in. Got it laid in there. That's what we're looking like right now. I can't open the door. Sun's shining so bad, it's throwing a glare in here. Can't see. But yeah. Let me get, uh, get all these strips in here. And we'll check it out again. All right, this is the main one. I got a line up right here where this neck comes through, fuel neck. Right there, it's just a straight shot up there. So when I test fitted the gas tank, I made sure everything was right before I drilled that hole right there. So I'm just lining it up with the tape. Then I should be good to go.
I'm going to find a way to keep this lock washer on here without it sliding off. First of all, stick the nut down in there. Put a little bit of that monkey glue on it. There we go. It ain't coming off. It let me get up in there and screw it in. This stuff right there. Alright, here's some of the stuff I used right here. Well, first I took the wood and I sanded it down with 180, then 220. Then I followed up with that right there, just one light coat with a stain brush. Waited probably 8 to 10 days. Then I followed up with this right here with that brush right there. Several times on the back and the side and the front. Well, the bottom and the top. So there we go. All right, here we go. Got everything in. All the bolts on the front. Front and rear is tightened up. Everything else, I've got everything in. All the nuts and washers, everything's on. So I just got to tighten everything down. So there we go. I still got to put the bolts across the top. Across the back panel, still got to put them in. But there we go. Alright. I'll try to get back a little quicker when I go to put the fuel tank in. Maybe the wheels and tires, so I'll catch y'all then. Take it easy.